Good morning, January 3rd. Happy New Year, everyone. Because I requested comments, that in the comments people leave ideas for readings, someone left the idea that they would like to see a career outlook reading, uh, jobs outlook. So let's see what we have here. The overall energy for that for this week is door to value. Okay, great. Door to value means that your employer, the person that you're interested in working for, is really looking for the best value. So that means, what do we mean when we say value? It means like, well, I could buy this item over here. I could have this employee for this amount of money. I could have that employee for that amount of money. But what they're really looking for is who brings the maximum potential for the lowest cost. And that's, that's typical of how we all shop. So basically, you're dealing with employers who are shopping at this time for the best value as they perceive it. So good to know in the background when you're interviewing to emphasize your value and what you bring to the table. All right, so let's see what the chances are of you being able to get hired this week or have an opportunity that will lead to a hiring situation. Lover's card, you will be in the running for being chosen. Chances are there will be another person who is your equal. To me, this basically says that you're in the final round of interviews. Okay, it's all about making a final choice. The energy is the hanged man reverse. They are actually ready to hire. It looks like coming into the new year, it looks like they had a little bit of a hiring freeze going on, but now they're moving forward. We get the energy of the Son of Cups, Page of Cups. To me, this says that they are looking for someone, I hate to say ageism or young, but they're looking for somebody that they don't have to give a top salary to. When we look at the pages, we're looking for maybe an entry-level job is going to be what's on the mind of most people, or at a very minimum, hiring somebody who has a great value, but they don't have to pay a lot of money to. So if you're an executive, this may not, you know, really bode well for you in this particular reading. The Father of Wands says that the employer is looking at somebody who they can mentor. A father is a, an authority figure, somebody who will be respectful of, of authority, somebody who will be loyal because the fire sign energies demand loyalty, especially the King of Wands energy. In the recent past, the emperor. So we've had a dictate from top to bottom in the corporation. The CEO has set some sort of new hiring pro policy or practices for everyone to follow. How will that affect you? The seven of coins. Okay, good. So it does show that you bring a lot to the table, that you're certainly on the playing field. When we look at 10 as being the culmination of being chosen, it does look very likely that they will invest time in interviewing you and giving you serious consideration. In the near future, they find you to be a very strong candidate. I like this. Now the strength card is certainly not a page card. So when I get the strength card, I'm seeing courage, I'm seeing somebody, for many of those who are watching, you're bringing more of a, a leadership role, something that requires a lot of strength, a lot of courage uh, to the table in terms of your talent set. So, but they like this. So I want you to remember one thing. When you're out job hunting, and I see this, I do a lot of career counseling, and what I see oftentimes is they will run an ad for one job and they might decide that you're not really a good match for that job, but they would hire you for a different job. And that's what I'm seeing here. You might even be elevated in terms of a place that they would like to hire you in or they want to see that you are highly uh, promotable. I don't know if that's a word, but we'll see. Okay. So what we do get is that the first person who interviews you may be someone who wouldn't be the one hiring you or that you wouldn't be working for. So you do appear to have a pre-screening from a page of Pentacles, somebody who's just trying to get the lay of the land. They may ask you what your salary requirements are. They are going to sort of get a profile of you to decide if you are going to fit this door to value ratio that they're looking for. The Daughter of Cups says that they really like you. 
that the way they perceive you is someone who's very grounded, very down to earth, somebody who fits the criteria of door to value ratio. We see the two of cups. Oh goodness, they really like you. They really can see. This is a bride and groom card. This is a marriage card. And when we look at business, we look at the seventh house of Libra, a contract, okay? So when we, whenever we look at a marriage, the way it shows up in the astrology wheel and the astrology chart is a contractual obligation. And so when we look at business, they see you as a partner, just like a business partner, you have a business agreement. If you're working with a lawyer, there are rules of the road that are legal that tie them to you. And so what we see is they see you as a truly a wonderful partner, that you would be a very good fit. So their desire to hire you is there. Let's see what their final outcome and action is. Nine of Wands. Okay. So the Nine of Wands says that you may be more expensive than they want to pay. Now, the good news with the nine of wands is that if they see the door to value ratio, they will try to expand the parameters to bring you into the business. It's fire in their belly. They want you. They, they're willing to work harder. They're willing to give you more. So let's go ahead and get clarifiers here for you and see exactly, you know, what else we could be, well, what we could learn about. So the hanged man reversed is what? What does that mean? They have great clarity. They know what they want. A lot of times when we look at hiring situations also, a company will set out, they'll post one job offer, and then they'll change their mind, and then they post an altered job offer. They're very clear. There's not going to be any changes. They have a clear understanding of what they need and they want. The Ace of Swords says that they're ready to move forward with the paperwork to hire somebody. So why do they want this interesting Son of Cups? Now that is a Knight of Cups. So they do want somebody who has some experience. So Son of Cups energy is um, somebody who's, you know, got a nice horse, they look good, they present themselves well, they dress well. You know, it's somebody who I think of like maybe the, the 30s or late 20s, that they're looking for somebody who can become an executive and move into this strength position. The Five of Swords, though, says that what they want may not be realistic, okay? So the Five of Swords says that, you know, they want what they want. They may not be totally fair about this, but it is what it is, right? So when we look at the Father of Wands, we also get the Father of Pentacles. So we know that they have the money to pay. The World card says that they want to make a good hire with somebody who will stick around for a long time. So again, they are looking for somebody they can groom into leadership, but, you know, they're a little bit cheap is what I think. So tell us about what's unfair about this situation for the hiree, the chariot card. Well, they may want you to start very quickly. They will want you to be able to jump in and have almost a leadership role in terms of learning, being very self-motivated. The magician card, oh wow, they do have very large expectations for their dollar, for their door-to-value ratio. They want somebody who's very smart and who's very communicative and who can work well on their own. The chariot card is uh, one in which you're driving forward very quickly. So it's also the emperor that drives the chariot. So we come back to that value that I said door to value. You know, it's, well, I want an emperor, but I want to pay for the cost of a knight of cups. So we're seeing some, yeah, we're seeing self-imposed restriction here that somebody has put some sort of hiring cap or limitation on just how far they will go. I would say that they might go up to $80,000 a year but I don't think they would go to 90,000. So you can add the zeros as they resonate, but that's how I that's how I usually see the situation with a lot of success actually. So what we see here with the 7 of pentacles is we see the mother of cups. So they do want to nurture the garden, so to speak. The mother of cups is a good card. It means that they really are willing to teach, they're willing to take the time, they're willing they have patience to develop the relationship. They do want somebody who wants a career and they are going to make an offer to you. 
All right, so I like that. The Ace of Coins is an offer. This is a, the highest or the best that can happen in a reading. We call it the crown of the reading. It sits right atop the reading. So it does mean that they find that that they really like you, that they can see themselves making a legal commitment. Again, another marriage card, another marriage card. But this is something that they would actually do. We get the Justice card and the Strength card. We get a contract. That's when you sign the paperwork. Again, that's, you know, we've got three cards that indicate the chance to get hired and to be seen as a very high value. But you need to know before you go into a situation where they're looking door to value, you need to understand what you can emphasize in the interview. So you come in and you emphasize to this person that you work well independently, that you're a good problem solver, that, you know, you are willing to do the research, you know, or to look something up. You're, you're not going to be needy as an employee. You're going to be very self-motivated. They want somebody who can work independently from home if need be. They want someone who's going to solve problems. So they also want someone who plays well with others. Um, so let's see what we have here for the Daughter of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles energy. Why do we have that as the person who will be talking to you as a screening mechanism? Eight of Cups. Okay. So this person could be problematic because... They make judgment calls that are not always very accurate. So what is it that you need to impress upon them? Son of Pentacles, okay. So you need to impress upon them that, you know, you really are, you like their company, that you might, you have to almost imply that you want to be with them so much that you might bend over backwards. You know, I don't always think that's a good strategy, of course, for negotiation, but this person has been screened very much to search toward a value. So their screening mechanism is broken as far as I'm concerned, but it is one of the realistic hurdles of going through um, maybe, maybe like an HR department or something or talking to somebody's secretary. Now, the high priestess says that this person is very smart. This person, look at this. We have the high priestess, wisdom, smart, intelligent, but we have the father of wands twice. This person has been told that you're a very good candidate. When we get the Eight of Cups, why is this person willing to sort of, yeah, I get the Eight of Cups as they're willing to walk away from you. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Now that could be playing hard to get. It could be a negotiating strategy. If so, it will come up as a Five of Swords or a Seven of Cups or somebody being mysterious. Let's see what we have. Okay, good. I like it. We have the Mother of Pentacles. So basically, this person is going to pretty much tell you in a straightforward fashion what they want. And it looks as though, but I don't like this energy. I'm getting that they may not see your value. They may think that you're too much, you're too high paid, highly paid. All right, so you have to get the hurdle. The hurdle is this person who's going to screen you. So what I would say is I would be very hesitant in this situation to tell them a dollar amount that you must have because I think that's what they're going to do to you. I think they're going to like you very much, and I think that when you give them a dollar amount that's probably close to 80000 again, I think you're looking at an executive position or somebody that's going to be groomed, and I think that they'll walk away. They just, they find, they find that to be an amount that's too high. Father of Cups says that they will be reporting to their superior or somebody in their department that is going to be the screening process after they are. So there's somebody who they're going to kick that up to a higher level. They're going to give an opinion about whether your door to value is good. They're not going to make the final decision, which I'm very glad about. They're going to look at that hanged man. But they're not going to call you in for a second interview right away. I'm getting the Son of Swords, Page of Swords. They're going to continue looking based on what this person says. The Daughter of Cups, though, the Page of Cups does say that you'll get an offer, 
of some sort. It comes down to you and another person being considered for a, the next level of interviews. I would say that they, they come to realize in this process that they have to revisit it after they walk away from you. It looks like they think about this and then they head back towards you. Okay, so I feel as though it'll be about two weeks after the first interview before you hear from them again. Let's see what we have here for the Two of Cups. What is it that they like so much about you that they're keeping hidden? Three of Swords reversed. You may have worked for a competitor. You may have worked in the industry and they feel as though almost like they're stealing you away so if you're already if you already have a job that you find overwhelming that you don't like they would actually find that as very attractive now the four of cups says that they're going to ask you a question about like what didn't you like about your last employer do not fall into a trap what do you need to say about that how do you need to answer that question because it is a trap the Eight of Coins, what you have to say about this is that you really like the opportunities to learn and to grow and to advance your skills is what makes you interested in them. Stay away from any criticism whatsoever of an employer. They will take you as having basically a bad attitude. You will not get chosen. So don't fall into that trap. What did you like best? What did you like least? Well, you know, what I really like best is that, you know, I learned a lot while I was there and now I want to learn more with you. How did you feel about that employer? You may hate them, but you don't say it. Okay, just keep that as being very hidden. Well, you know, it was a nice group of people, but I didn't see a future. I didn't see any more learning available to me in that environment. That's the way you address the question. The Nine of Wands, fire in their belly to hire you. But we do get the Page of Wands reversed, okay? So that is not throwing caution to the winds, but I don't think with Door to Value they're going to throw caution to the winds. So tell us more about this uh, desire to hire you. Good. Oh, Mother of Wands. Okay, there we go. The Queen of Wands. You will be seen as a very sharp, uh, vivacious, very energetic, Aries energy, you know, the sharp end of the spear, that you're going to work very independently. You're going to be very solid. You can work on your own. And they do see you going from this Knight of Cups energy into really being able to, in the interview, what wins the day here and what wins the salary that is going to be okay and good for you is going to be really letting them know that you are the sharp end of the spear, that, you know, when there's a problem, you set out to solve it and that you have a very strong leadership ability to work independently and to learn on your own. And, you know, they'll, they're going to see you as a very high value at that point. So that's what I would see. That's my advice. That's what this is all, this is telling me that you will encounter. Let's see what the, what the opportunity is here in terms of the energies around you in this reading. As you exit the situation, let's see what we have here. We have, oh, nice angel of love. You will be very happy. You will, I think that you would really love this job. I think that you'd find it very, uh, very fulfilling, the company that you're looking at. And let's see what the magical is. What's the magic? The magic, the magic at this time in this journey for new work, liberty, really having some freedom, really having, being in an environment where you know, you, you're the leader of your own life. You don't have anybody watching over you. You know, you leave a path of mystical, magical solutions behind. You're really seen as a very, very good door to value. You're seen as somebody who's very reliable. That kind of produces magic. Like your clients would say, you know, oh my gosh, I really like so-and-so. They really helped me. But it's all very much about working independently. So that's what I have for you for today, January 3rd. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Send it back. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what you think of the reading. So this is the way I would do a personal reading if somebody were asking me how to handle a job interview. You just received uh, a virtual reading for the collective. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.